Idle is a software program that's written in Python and it's used to write and run code and programs written in Python. Some people suggest that Idle is named after Eric Idle, who is a member of the Monty Python comedy group. Idle is a type of software program called an IDE, or an Integrated Development Environment. IDEs are also sometimes called Integrated Design Environments or Integrated Debugging Environments. An Integrated De Development Environment, or IDE, is a type of software program that's used to write code and develop other programs. You don't need an IDE to write code, but it can make some things easier. IDEs usually include a text editor for writing code, a tool for running the code from the IDE, and tools for fixing non-working code. Okay, we're going to go with, over these more later. But you can write Python code in any program that can write and save text. Python has many IDEs, and there's a list of them on the Python uh, website. For this course, you don't need anything more complicated than the idle. So now how do I open the Python shell? What I do is I click the Start menu. I go to All Programs. I go down to Python 3.2 and I click on idle. Now the Python shell window opens. When you start idle, the open window is called the Python shell. A shell is a software interface that stands between the user and the lowest level software program of a computer, of a computer system. This makes it easier for the uh, user to work with, with that computer system. For example, in the Windows operating system, the Explorer is a graphic shell for managing and opening files that are stored in that computer's hard drive. So in the beginning of this course, we used Explorer to create a course folder. Okay, The Python shell, what is that? It is an interactive interpreter of the Python programming language. This means that any commands entered into the shell will be run as if they would be in a Python program. Execute. Execute is another word for running a program. In the Windows operating system, program files that can be run have the exe file name extension. This exe extension is for, short for executable. This means that the file can be executed or run. Like the Python command window, the shell has a command prompt. And it looks like this. Okay, this is where commands can be entered into the shell. Like the Python command line interpreter, Python code entered in the shell can't be saved, and it'll be gone as soon as you close it. Also, like the Python command line interpreter, the Python shell does not let you go back and edit code after you have pressed the Enter key. If you want to change code that you have typed, you have to retype it, and press enter all over again. Unlike the Python command line window, however, the Python shell has a menu system. See this? It's a menu system with standard menu items like file, exit, and help. Also, unlike the Py Python command line window, which uses a single color uh, of text, idle colorizes the Python code to make it easier to read. However, the turtle commands are mostly not colorized because they're not st standard Python commands. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print hello world. So I'm going to type in print. And then I press enter. And the print command is purple. The uh, text inside the parentheses is green and the output command is blue. So obviously if you're going to turn in uh, a project to Miss Hadley, you need to save it, right? So what you're going to need to do is use the text editor in, idle's, um, in idle here. 
The text editor is Idle's tool for writing, saving, and running Python programs. Unlike the Python command line interpreter in the shell, the text editor can um, save the code that you write. The Python shell executes the Python commands one at a time as you type them and press the enter key. The text editor, however, is different. You can type many commands into it first, then Python executes all these commands at once. Unlike the Python command line window and the shell, our text editor here lets you go back and edit the code after you've typed and run the program. As you work with the Python shell and the text editor, it'll be important to tell them apart. How do you know whether you're in the Python shell or the text editor? If you're in the Python shell, um, you have a command prompt right here. However, if you're looking into the text editor, you do not. So how do I get to the text editor? I go File, New Window. That takes me right to the text editor. See, there's no um, cursor here. I mean, there's no um, pr command prompt. See, the bottom one says Python Shell, and the top one says Untitled. One of the things you need to know is that it's important to save your project files regularly. If you don't save your files, you could lose important information if your computer stops working. Idle requires you to save your Python program before you can run it. All Python uh, files use the py file name extension. Without, without that at the end of the file name, your computer is not going to recognize the program as a Python file. So we're going to save our program with a file name extension. In this instance, we're going to have to type the .py file name extension as part of the file name because Python does not automatically add that extension for you. So now I'm going to save this. I click File, Save, and I have my dialog box here. So where do I want to save it? I'm going to save it my desktop in a folder I've made. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this um, shapes.py. So you can see up here it's saved as shapes.py. A couple things you need to know. One is that um, the undo command for the text editor is different from the turtle's undo command. The Python text editor's undo command is used to undo mistakes that are typed into the text editor. For example, if you accidentally selected all of the code in the text editor then deleted it, you could always use the undo command to bring it back. The undo command is useful for fixing typing mistakes you didn't notice right away. You can also use the undo command by clicking the edit menu then clicking undo. I always use the control plus Z key. Zap! Okay, if you use the undo command twice, it'll undo the last two things that were typed into the text editor. Remember, you can use it whenever you make a typing mistake and notice it right away. So now what am I going to do? I'm going to type in here from turtle import. I make sure that I typed the, it correctly. And remember, in the text editor, you're not going to get an error message for the mistakes you make like you do in the shell. So I'm going to get add enter again to get another blank line. And then I'm going to type in here, shape turtle. Now I'm going to type forward 100. Then press enter. So check your code and make sure it looks like this example. If it looks good, we're going to go to the next, uh, next thing. If it has mistakes, um, click the mistake, move the cursor there and fix it. Delete and retype the correct code. Okay, we're going to run this program now. When you run a program, it runs or executes some or all of the lines of its code. 
One advantage of writing commands in a program instead of typing them into a command prompt is that you only have to write the program once, and then you can run the program as many times as you want. The more complicated the instructions you want to give a computer, the more useful it is to be able to save your lines of code into a program file. A software program like Windows XP operating system has approximately 40 million lines of code. So saving the code to a program file also allows multiple people to work together on the same software project. There are diff two different ways to run Python programs. One is to double click a Python file to run the code in that file. And you can also run Python programs directly from the idle text editor using the run module command. Before we can run this program though, we need to save the command. Any changes that are made into a Python's file code, asterisks will appear in the title bar of the command editor. So you'd like it has shapes up here with the asterisk, that means we haven't saved it yet. So let me show you what happens if you want to run it before you save it. So I click run. So I click run module. So now I have a pop-up that says source must be saved, be OK to save. I click OK. So now um, it runs my Python shell. So you can see the turtle has gone 100 pixels. Now I'm going to have my turtle draw a square. So I'm going to type right 90 degrees. And I'm going to have him go forward 100 again. Then I have him go right 90 degrees again. Forward 100 again. Right 90 degrees. And have him go forward 100 again. So check your file, make sure it looks like the example. Then click Save. And then run your program again. Run module. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have it make a circle. So I type in the circle command. Next I'm going to make the square using a circle. Now I'm going to change the color to red. Now I'm going to make a triangle. So now I'm going to run my code to make sure it works. Now I'm going to write the exit on click command. The exit on click command is a turtle command that keeps the turtle graphics window open until someone clicks it with a mouse. When you run a Python program by double clicking it instead of through idle, that program will run and then close as soon as it is finished running through all of its lines of code. This can mean that a program will run in a window and then close, making it difficult to see what the program did. Adding the exit on click command to a turtle drawing program will cause the turtle graphics window to stay open until the user clicks on it. So we're going to add the exit on click um, command. So now I type, I come to my last line here, and I type exit on click, and I click enter and save. And now I run my program, run module. Now I just have to click the program to close it and we're done. Now the assignment 1A also requires you to make another uh, program. So what they want you to do, you're going to save it with a new name for, a, for this assignment. Okay. 
So you're going to call it shapes assign py. And you're going to add four more steps to it. You're going to make another smaller triangle above the smaller square. So you're going to move the turtle forward by 100 pixels. Turn the pit turtle 120 degrees to the right. Move the turtle forward 100 pixels. 120 more degrees to the right. Forward 100 pixels. Then turn the turtle 120 degrees to the right. So I'm taking this assignment shapes p y i'm going to have another a folder and call this file save as so we're going to call this shapes underscore assn and click save then we're going to add what we're going to add that um, triangle so we're going to go forward under a uh, hundred Then we're going to go right, 120 degrees. We're going to go forward 100 again. Right, another 120 degrees. and forward 100 again. And now we're going to save it. And then we're going to uh, run the module. There you go. Now what I would do is I would add this um, exit on click. I would go control X and I put it at the end here. I'm going to save that and run it. That's what yours should look like. Thank you. You have a great day. See you in class.